the name of the palette is Dia and Noche. It's giving Buenas Noches. So Barbianas, welcome back to the party, Yana. And in today's video, I'm gonna be giving y'all a little Ulta haul. So basically, I just got some makeup and I wanna show y'all. I have nine items in total, but one of them is missing because I lose shit. So it's basically eight items in total, but I have an extra item that I did get from Ulta a long time ago that I'll show y'all yeah, because I don't know where the hell the goddamn eyebrow pencil is. But chow, yes, chow. I got me an eyebrow pencil from Ulta and I lost it already. I always lose shit. But the gag is the pencil is not that good and it keeps breaking. So you know how you have those mechanical pencils that you use to like do your work and stuff and it always breaks. That's how the pencil is. So it isn't, it's literally not worth it. Don't get it. Don't buy it. It was $5. I got it in the shade Deep Espresso. I do have it on today. Okay, period. A girl is trying to practice doing her makeup because I have prom. I have my birthday all in one month so a girl need to know how to do her makeup by that time okay period so let me show y'all everything that i actually have in my possession right in front of me besides that bitch ass ulta pencil okay okay so the first thing i got is this call me baby nb morphe palette okay child this is a girly girl palette it's pink pacific lay okay so let me open it for y'all nice and cute and pretty okay so see my messy room don't look at my room okay i'm gonna cover up the mirror because then y'all get to see everything that's in my room and my room dirty but yeah it does come with a oop it does come with a mirror or whatever and these are the shades i'm really in love with the shades that's why i got it because it's like pink um for my birthday i want to do like a pink eyeshadow look so that's why i got this it has a whole bunch of cute shades this shade right here um this shade right here is like a real sparkly pink you can't really see the sparkles but it does have sparkles then this one right here is like a shimmery gold rose gold type of color i don't know what this is it's giving blush that's a hot pink that's a goldish that's like a brownish indian hot pink sparkly pink and like a dark purple chow i really like this palette okay morphe you did what you had to do. It's real cute. I love the packaging. It's given what it's supposed to give. And y'all know most of the time, every time I'm talking about some shit, I'm always like, the packaging is not given. This one is giving. I like it. Okay, perfect. The next eyeshadow palette, this is actually the last eyeshadow palette that I did get from Ulta. And everything that I got in total was $111. So, yeah, it was expensive. So, yeah. That was $12. This was $5 because they had a sale. Um, This palette is from, the name of the palette is Dia and Noche. It's giving Buenas Noches, but um, no, the name of this palette, like the brand is J-Cat, okay? So this is how it looks. It looks a little dirty because I had it in my dirty ass makeup bag, so please excuse that. Um, I love the shades of this one too. That's why I got it because it's pink and all of that. So these are the shades, okay? You got some baby pink, you got some purple, you got some dark purple, you got some peach pink, you got some hot pink, you got some sparkly shit you got some dark purple you got a whole bunch of pink and purple and i really really like that because i'm a pink and purple type girl i love pink i like purple as well but pink is my favorite all-time favorite color so that's that or whatever i really like them they have it has like nice beautiful cute shades like i love pink so i was like curl let me get that because i ain't got time to play with y'all okay okay so the next thing that I got from Ulta is this Maybelline Master Chrome, this Maybelline Master Chrome Metallic Highlighter. Okay, y'all. So this is what the highlight is giving. Um, I never really seen why people buy highlight for fifty dollars because one thing I will not do is spend unnecessary money on unnecessary shit. Now I feel like you should spend a good amount of money for a foundation and setting powder i mean i don't see why they make it so expensive i don't think they should make it that expensive but i would go out my way and pay more for that than i would for a highlight because you want your foundation you want your face to be right highlight is not needed you don't need highlight okay like what, what the what the you don't need this but this is how this looks it's like a rose gold this is like really cheap this was like probably nine dollars i do have it on today okay because i did my makeup so this is how it looks on my face it looks real cute okay per the fuck bitch and yeah so that's that um i'm sorry if my products look 
bent and dingy and old but i did have these products in my makeup bag and i literally just got this shit yesterday and i threw it in my makeup bag full of shit of makeup that is really messy so that's why my makeup looks messy okay okay the next thing that i have is this maybelline fit me matte poreless powder now i did get this for contour i watched this youtube video and this girl was like powder contour is a better than cream contour because if you have oily skin it's not gonna give what it's supposed to give and i was like bitch i got oily skin let me go ahead and get me a little you know what i'm saying powder bronzer whatever the fuck this is not a bronzer but i'm using it as a bronzer it is in the shade nutmeg this is not my shade this is probably a shade darker or maybe two shades darker i don't know but i do have it on and that is how it is looking i don't really know how to do bronzer or contour yet so i'm still practicing but this is the best it has ever looked so yeah that is that i like it it's giving okay and then they had a little sale so it was buy one get one free so i went ahead and i got myself a blush i do have it on but i did mix it with this other blush that i have so you probably can't really see it but this is the blush um it doesn't have a pacific shade it's just blush this is how the blush looks or whatever it does have a couple specks of other makeup in it but that is because i used a fucking brush that i used for damn near almost everything so that's why it has a couple specks but that is the blush um i don't see anything wrong with certain makeup being cheap some makeup you should get for a low price and some you should not literally be spending over ten dollars for because why the hell is like makeup is expensive y'all like if you want to get into doing makeup i'm telling you right now it's expensive if you want your face to be good all day you might have to spend a lot of money on makeup but like if you have like regular skin you probably don't need to buy all that expensive ass makeup because like your skin is not going to look bad throughout the day but if you have oily skin and you fuck around and you buy some cheap ass makeup your face is not going to give and that's why you got to go for the more expensive shit or whatever okay per girl the next thing that I got is this Morphe setting spray. I did use this. Um, this is how my skin is looking. I don't really know if it's giving yet. I don't know. But I feel like setting sprays, they make me look a little more shiny. But this is the setting spray. I got the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. And I got the 2.8 ounce. This was $16. I didn't want to get the big one because that was $27. And I was like, girl, hold on. I'm broke. Okay, so then I have this NYX epic ink liner okay now this is a eyeliner and i did use it it's really good and this is actually like nine dollars i don't want to say it's too good yet because it might fuck around and fuck up on me but look at my eyeliner y'all like look at my eyeliner look at my eyeliner um girl it's like a matte type of eyeliner but this is a waterproof uh vegan nyx eyeliner um it says it's waterproof but i did get in the shower and it did come off when i had it on my hand because i had you know what i'm saying put it on my hand and then i went in the shower because i was about to take a shower and it did come off so it's not really too much waterproof but it is really matte and i feel like it will not come off your face unless you literally try to rub it as hard as possible because i put this on my skin and i rubbed it and it didn't move but if you probably put water on your face and play with your face it's gonna fuck up so you know what i'm saying just don't try to fuck up your face okay y'all this is the most expensive thing that i paid for this is the laura mercier laura mercio laura mercier laura mercier setting powder i got this in the shade translucent honey now i watched a lot of makeup videos and a lot i watched a lot of videos of people talking about what they like and what works for them and blah 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 and one of the two youtubers that i watched was i think Aaliyah j i think and pretty iceland and i watched pretty like i've been watching pretty iceland so if pretty iceland said it's a good setting powder I'm gonna get it because pretty iceland said it and girl i've been watching her so since i've been watching her i believe her like she she don't even fucking know me and i believe her as if she was my friend so <laughs> um yeah so this is the powder or whatever i got it in the shade translucent honey this was 40 dollars. it's very expensive um i have really oily skin so that's why i got it and i'm like baby one thing i'm not gonna do one thing i'm not gonna do is play with my face when it comes to my face and i know my skin oily so i'm like baby if this is the best thing they got i'm gonna get it so this is how it looks i'm not trying to really open it too much because like i don't need to spill this this is expensive girl and i have a couple other setting powders 
um i just want to show y'all well actually i don't know where they're at actually they're not in here these two setting powders that i'm about to show y'all are not from ulta but they are setting powders that i have used before i have wet and wild translucent and i also have this banana powder from uh beauty for you i don't really know this brand i got this from burlington so i just use this like probably like to prep my face and stuff like that because these are setting powders that i've been at but baby i'm on the bougier side now i'm on the laura mercier side okay <laughs> so now i did get this from ulta but i did not just recently get this from ulta this is a nyx butter gloss they always give what they supposed to give like say what you want about nyx but i'm telling you nyx like they be having good stuff like they actually be having good shit and i do recommend shopping with that pacific makeup brand because it's cheaper and it's not a lot of money and you get good shit for the low like all that other stuff i'm not spending all that money on no makeup and it's not good so yeah this is the butter gloss this is in the shade cream brulee and as y'all can see i have it on my lips right now it's just like a light pink color like a you know what i'm saying it's what it's giving or whatever and i really like that one okay for her. so that is everything that i got from ulta i really hope y'all enjoyed this video maybe i could go and get the products y'all self and tell me if you like it or not or whatever girl Thank y'all so much for watching this video. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. And I love y'all. Bye, Barbianas.